Agents at the Isleta Border Patrol station encountered more than 140 smuggled migrants in two stash houses earlier this week. Border Patrol is now warning the public of the signs to look out for in your neighborhood. ABC 7's Brianna Pettis is live with those details. Brianna. That's right, Stephanie. This is not the neighborhood where those stash houses were found, but officials tell me that those stash houses can be found in just about any neighborhood in the city. They remind the public to stay vigilant and to report any suspicious activity. October 1st till the end of February, here in the El Paso sector, we have found over 130 stash houses. Within those stash houses, we have found over 1,800 people. So that's pretty alarming. Border Patrol agent for the El Paso sector, Fidel Vaca, says this can be harmful for the community. So these transnational criminal organizations that run these stash houses, they, they are not only running the traffic of humans, they are also running the traffic of narcotics, of weapons, of money. That's something inhumane. One El Paso resident tells me that although he's aware of his surroundings by his home, this makes him think twice about what could be happening in his neighborhood. In 24 hours, there are people coming in and out, so it concerns me to have neighbors like that. I check my neighborhood, but I'm scared something like that can bring crime. Baca says here are some signs you can look out for. A lot of activity during the late hours, including the number of people entering a home and the amount of cars parked outside. He says another indicator could be where the license plates are from and the amount of people in one car. Officials say the community is important to help find these houses. Where, what they do, you get used to the natural movement, you get used to the vehicles, but uh, just like it's, our, it's in our nature that when we see something that's not normal, it'll start, uh, we'll start asking questions. And I think that's when you see something particularly suspicious that you need to, if, you know, report it. It might be nothing or again, you might be you might be saving a life or two. And if you have suspicion that this may be happening in your neighborhood, they ask for you to call the number at your screen at 1-800-635-2509. When I'm reporting in West El Paso, Brianna Perez, ABC 7.